bless of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for He has lit with favor on His lowly servant. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Father. And welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today we celebrate the feast of the visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Brothers and sisters, as we come together, let us once again Beset our selves, especially with our relationship with one another and with our God. We thank God that we have the Blessed Mother who give us that very good example that in spite of the fact that it is hard for her to walk because she is pregnant, yet she continues her service to Elizabeth, her cousin. Likewise, we thank God that we have this time in order to pray. So we pray that we will continue our good services for other people who are in need of our time, of our presence of our ears to listen and our hands to extend our help. Let us now prepare ourselves by asking God's once again forgiveness for all the sins that we have committed. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I fail to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, only begotten Son, Son. Lord God, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of, God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who while the Blessed Virgin Mary was carrying your Son in her womb, inspired her to visit Elizabeth. Grant us, we pray, that faithful to the promptings of the Spirit, we may magnify your greatness with the Virgin Mary at all times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, let love be sincere. Hate what is evil. Hold on to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Anticipate one another in showing honor. Do not grow slack in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Endure in affliction. Persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the Holy Ones. Exercise hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Blessed and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoiced. Weep with those who weep. Have the same regard for one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not be wise in your own estimation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. God indeed is my savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim his name. Among the nations, make known his deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Among you is the Great and Holy One of Israel. Please stand then. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord will be fulfilled. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant left in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me. For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb left for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. 
He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Naalala ko tuwing may bisita kami, eh, talagang sinusundo namin po sa airport. Bago ang pandemic, wala na siguro ng pinaka-busy, pinaka-masikip, pinaka-matraffic na airport, hindi yung Manila International Airport or ang Ninoy International Airport. At yun ay dahil sa mga sumusundo at naghahatid ng kanilang mga mahal sa buhay. Naalala ko noon, nung may uh, hinatid kaming uh, uh, isang uh, kaibigan nandoon sa departure area, ay eh, nakita ko isang babae na umiiyak. Eh, tamang-tama na sa tabi ako at uh, tinitingnan ko yung mga kasamahan ko. Eh, bigla akong niyakap. Sabi ko, bakit? <laughs> Sandali. Sino ka? Nagkamali pala siya. Akala niya, yung kapatid niya, naaalis. Ganun, tayo ka-concern noon bago ang pandemic. Yung iba, understandable na sasama sa pagsundo kasi actually, ang concern, ang interest, ay hindi sa tao na sinusundo. Ang interest ay yung pasalubong, yung dala, yung bitbit, yung ibibigay ng dumating. Di ba? Siguro, <laughs> na-experience nyo rin yan. Na kapag may dumating, lalong-lalo na mga OFWs natin, mga kamag-anak natin galing sa ibang bansa, ang hinahanap natin palagi ay ang pasalubong. Ano ba yung pasalubong? Makapagbigay ba sa atin ng kaligayahan, ng kasayahan? Certainly, yes. Masyadong ano naman yun, yung tao na pag binigyan mo ng pasalubong, eh, tatanggi. Hindi, nahanap natap natin yan. Dahil ang pasalubong ay nagbibigay ng kasayahan, ng ligaya sa pinasalubungan. Mga kapatid, ito nangyayari sa ating Ibanghilyo sa araw na ito ng kapistahan ng visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary sa kanyang pinsan si Elizabeth. Dalawang buntis, dalawang uh, tao na sabihin natin uncomfortable sa sitwasyon. Lalong-lalo na si Maria. Malayo ang kanyang nilakad, ay suppose nilakad o sasakay sa dangke o ang kanyang paglalakbay papunta, papuntang Judea kung saan. Nakatira si Elizabeth. Ngunit, binaliwala ni Maria. Para bagang yung traffic, pag may sinusundo tayo, may naabangan tayo. Para bagang yung paghihintay. Paghihintay. 
dahil mayroong inaasahan. Of course, si Maria at si Elizabeth, actually si Elizabeth, hindi niya alam na darating si Maria. Ang pagbibisita ay nanggaling kay Maria. May mga rason, most probably, kung bakit binisita ni Maria si Elizabeth. But ang alam ni Maria, ayon sa anghel na nagsabi sa kanya, Elizabeth in her old age is already six months and is about to give birth. Mary is so sensitive to the needs of Elizabeth considering her old age. Kaya kahit hirap siya dahil buntis din siya, binaliwala niya. Matulungan lamang ang kanyang pinsan na may edad na sa kanyang pagpanganak. Ayon sa Ebanghelyo, mabuti nga, hindi si Sarian. Normal yung pagpanganak ng isang matandang uh, nanay. But what is important is the encounter. What is important is the visitation, the presence of Mary there. Kaya sa encounter ni Maria at ni Elizabeth, Napakagandang encounter ang nangyayari. Bakit? Dahil ang nagbisita ay hindi lamang si Maria. Ang nagbisita ang inaasahan for how many years na darating ang anak ng Diyos na daladala na pasalubong ni Maria para sa kanyang pinsan. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Sino ba ako na yung ina ng manunobos ang siyang bibisita sa akin. Kaya, certainly hindi naramdaman ng bata sa sinapupunan ni Elizabeth ang presensya ni Maria. But naramdaman ni San Juan Bautista ang presensya ni Jesus. Kaya sinabi ni Elizabeth kay Maria that the baby inside her womb left for joy. Gumalaw, tumalun sa kasayahan dahil bumisita daladala ni Maria ang anak ng Diyos, ang manunobos. Mga kapatid, napakagandang tagpo ito. Sa panahong natin ngayon ng pandemic, siguro, visit aside, visitation, mahirap eh, bawal. Bawal magbisita, physical na bisita, bawal. Lalo lalo na pag wala ka pang baksin. Lalong-lalo na kapag naka-lockdown. Lalong-lalo na kapag galing ka sa NCR. Hindi ka makabisita. Hindi ka makaalis. Bawal. Ngunit, mga minamahal ko mga kapatid, sa pagbisita o ang pagbisita, ay hindi lamang madala natin sa physical. Kuminsan, ayaw natin magbisita sa mga kamag-anak natin, sa mga may sakit, 
Dahil sasabihin natin, pandemic eh, walang trabaho, wala pong pasalubong. Ang pagbisita, hindi makpantify sa pasalubong. Kung ang dala mo ay Diyos, kung ang pasalubong mo ay si Jesus, hindi na kailangan pa ang ibang pasalubong. Hindi ka nagagasta. Hindi ka nagagasta. Dahil kapag makita ka at daladala mo ang Diyos, sa mukha mo palang sabihin ng makiki- makakita sa iyo, ay salamat sa Diyos, bumalik ka. Ay salamat sa Diyos, nakita kita. Ay salamat sa Diyos at dumating ka. Di ba? Dahil sa kasayahan, dahil daladala mo ang mukha ng Diyos. At yun, ang ginawa ni Maria. Masayang-masaya si Elizabeth dahil daladala ni Maria ang anak ng Diyos. Kaya sa pagbisita niyo dito, sa dambana ng mahal na ina ng, Rantu, uh, ng Santo Rosario ng Ambanawag, makikita natin si Maria na hawak-hawak niya ang kanyang anak upang sabihin sa atin, ito po ang pasalubong ko sa inyo. Huwag kayong matakot sa pandemic na ito. Huwag kayong matakot sa sakit na ito. Kailangan lamang bisitahin niyo ang Diyos. Kahit natutulog kayo, kahit nasa bahay lang kayo, kahit nasa trabaho niyo, bisitahin niyo ang Diyos. sa pamamagitan ng inyong pagdarasal. At tutugunan ng Diyos kung tayo ay makiusap sa Kanya. Yun ang mahalaga eh. Nakausap niyo na ba ang Diyos sa mga panahong ito? Si Maria ay nagbibigay sa atin ng magandang ihimplo. At si, magpasalamat tayo kay Maria na dala niya ang anak ng Diyos. Please all stand. Elizabeth was honored by the visit from the mother of her Lord, but Mary only wished to share her joy. As we rejoice on this feast day, let us bring our prayers to the Father who cherished this chosen women. For every intention we say, overflow us with your graces, Lord. Overflow us with your graces, Lord that the Church may fully open its heart to God's Word and proclaim it with joy to all peoples and cultures. Let us pray to the Lord. Overflow us with your graces, Lord. That leaders of nations may devise programs for building a better world in the spirit of Mary's humble service. Let us pray to the Lord. Overflow us with your graces, Lord. That through the inspiration of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may intensify our efforts in creating a better social order. Let us pray to the Lord. Overflow us with your graces, Lord. That we may show concern for the sick by visiting them and encouraging them. Let us pray to the Lord. Overflow us with your graces, Lord that those who have died may find in Mary a true refuge. Let us pray to the Lord. Overflow us with your graces, Lord. 
in silence that is now offered to God our very own personal intentions and prayers. Let us also include the intentions of this Mass. And let us not forget to pray, especially those who are sick, afflicted by this COVID-19. We also include those who are celebrating their anniversaries as well as the birthday today. Lord God, you put down the mighty and raised up the humble. Aided by the prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we entrust our hopes to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our offering of this saving sacrifice be accepted to your majesty, O Lord, as you were pleased to accept the charity of the most blessed Virgin Mary, of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn, O praise, for truly even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. Whom you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you give us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, this gives you pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. 
He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate a memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have healed us worthy to be in your persons and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis' assistant, Gerard, a master of the order, the religious, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with our Father Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Throw him, and wealth him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let the Savior's command and form by divine teaching be there to say. Oh, 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, you might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I love you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only the say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please all stand. Let us pray. May your church proclaim your greatness, O Lord, for you have done great things for your faithful. And as St. John the Baptist left with joy when he first sensed the hidden presence of Christ, so may your church rejoice to receive in the sacrament the same ever-living Lord who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo, sa inyong pagkikisa sa satamisang ito. I would like also to thank our YouTube as well as Facebook uh, viewers and our radio listeners. Maraming salamat din po sa ating mga frontliners na nandito sa ating basilika na nag-facilitate sa atin ang ating mga ushers, ang ating uh, sakristan, ng ating lector, commentator. Maraming maraming salamat po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is sended. Thanks be to God. We will now have the prayer for our sick brothers and sisters. Please remember the names of your loved ones who are sick, but we're not able to come for this blessing. We will also bless your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. So we kindness to our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of our Lady of the Rosary of Manawad, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this to Christ. Our oh Lord, Amen. for your religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawad, may all these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.